You know, Halloween is an interesting time. And if you're my age, if you're an older person, one of the few advantages of age is that you've got a lot of Halloweens you can think about and you can remember. And for me, I just turned back to when I was seven. And what was Halloween? I, I, in fact, wrote to my brother and sister and said, what Halloweens do you remember? And so I wanted to talk about those. It, I was seven years old. We lived in Orlando, Florida, and this was not the Florida of Disney World. This was Florida where our streets, for instance, were not paved, where we lived in a little three-room house that my father had built. That was a, it was a block that had four other houses, a lot of kids. But for instance, there was a converted garage that a widow woman and her kids lived with. There were the Duns and Charlie and Jimmy, their kids, and the, the Duns raised pigs, just a couple of pigs, big pigs. They raised those, and each year they slaughtered them. And they had this big iron pot where they would boil the water and stick them in there and take their bristles off or something. And the pigs had a, what you call a pig wallow, because it was usually pretty dry, and it was carved out by the pigs, kind of dusty, with the cut off top of a, pig, a pickup truck on it to give them shade. You could even play in that. It was nice, it was dusty. The pigs are actually quite clean. And the man behind us, in the block behind us, he occasionally would shoot a deer. And he'd bring that deer and string it up, and he would gut it, and he'd do all this. And we'd watch him in fascination, of course. So it was a pretty kind of basic and fun kind of life. And once a year, of course, he'd get Halloween. And we were always saying, OK, what are we going to have for costumes? We want to have costumes. Because it's not like now you'd go to Walmart, say, and get all these kind of costumes, and we couldn't have afforded it then, anyway. And we, what would, only other sort of uh, costume kind of thing we had was cowboys and Indians, but we played that every day. There was nothing special. And so it would always happen that about three hours before it got dark on Halloween, we'd say to Mama, okay, we want to be ghosts. We want to be ghosts. It's easy because as modest as our circumstances were, you could always find a torn sheet and she could always do a little bit of sewing with it, and then we would become ghosts. And we go out. I should say also, though, we were ghosts, me, Charlie, Jimmy, Danny, my brother, me, we were ghosts. But my sister, who was a bit older, she was actually an early princess in more ways than one. And she had made herself a nice little skirt and a top, a princess top. She made it out of crepe paper, you know what that is? It's kind of stretchy and colorful, and it just fit right around. So we go out, and we've got our little bag, kind of a mesh bag, because it's Florida after all, and that's what oranges are kept in, even are today. And we go from house to house. But they would give us, you know, that candy corn stuff? It looks kind of like somebody tore out your tooth only it was bleeding. And they had that. They had that. Nobody's worried about allergies or GMO or anything. They just had this stuff. And, and we would take it, and we'd be glad. We'd trick or treat. Get, but I mean, that stuff was revolting then. It's revolting now. But we were glad. We had fun. We're going along, and suddenly comes this absolute Florida storm. Lightning, rain, and as I say, the streets weren't paved. It was just this much sand. And the car, the old beat up car that Mama was following along, it gets stuck in this, right? And so she said, kid, you know, push, push. So then there's my mother in this beat up old Plymouth, two door, and five little ghosts behind pushing, and one princess. We were kind of laughing as we pushed. My sister was not laughing because when the rain came, the great paper, which she'd had over t-shirt, my just disintegrated. But somehow we got out. We carried on. So, uh, you know, that comes back with a kind of fun, friendly thing. But then I kept thinking, what about today? What about today? Because I was watching a demonstration not long ago on TV for a very famous judge who had died. 
and there were people, it wasn't a demonstration, it was a memorial thing. They came to the uh, courthouse, and there were little kids, seven or eight, and they had costumes, but they had on not white or anything like They had on black robes, and the black robes had a white collar. And I knew who they were. I knew who their role model was as a very famous judge who had fought for human rights, for LGBT rights, for environmental rights, rights. And I thought, well, me, who I am today, who would I have been there? Because in my own small way, I'm interested in work a little bit on human justice things, on human rights, on LGBT, on environment, there's all that. So if I'm then wearing my role model Halloween costume, I know now what it would be if it was today's merely as a seven-year-old today. I would be a judge. I would be a famous judge. I would have t-shirts with me on it. I would have tote bags with me on it. I would have people paying attention to what I said. So I know now who Mary Lee would be. I would be in a black robe. I would have a white collar. I would have big glasses. And I would be Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I would be the notorious RBG. Thanks. <laughs>